Inspiration Nation. Hello, Lee Kemp here for another week on the podcast. I've traded out Jose and I've brought in Ryan instead. How are we doing, Ryan? I'm good, thank you. I feel like I'm a part-time podcaster now. Well, it's I've all been going, so AWOL. It's all going wrong, as you saw there. For, if, if you watch the live, live version on YouTube, you'll see, see our fumbling before we actually start. And we say ours, my fumbling before we actually start. It's good to have <laughs> you back, Ryan, that you could grace us with a small bit of your presence I do my best. Oh, glad to have you here. Right, this week <laughs> I am up as the master of topics and conversation. So this, I'm trying to think of a title for it, but um, chance encounters, people you meet, something like that. The phrase I want to talk about is a couple of stories that back this back up this. One yeah. is about our good friend, Jose Neuer. Yeah. So I first met Joe back in the year of 2002. Not sure if you were even born then yet, Ryan, or... I was, know, I was seven. Away. So you were seven years old. I was in the world of work. I, I remember when I was younger and I talked to people who were working when I was at school and I'd be like, God, you're so old and I am now that person to you. So Yeah, it'll be me to other people soon. <laughs> it happens to us all. So I was <laughs> yeah, out, sure. out at work in 2002 and I first met Joe. Joe was a team leader at Ace Direct. I was on a on yep. a different team, but there was the, the the department where I was. Don't normally let out there where I worked, but that's where it was. The department where I worked, there were like four or five team leaders. Joe was one of those, and there was like social group. We used to do online football manager back in the day when it was on dial up, Ryan. So, or maybe it was whatever the first iteration of broadband was. I can't remember what it was called. Is that where but... you had the dodgy tone as you picked up the phone? Yes, hundred yeah. percent. In fact, I remember because the rest of us had broadband that had just come out and you could use it without interrupting the phone line you didn't need to dial up and it was super fast yeah um joe was still on dial up at the time and kind of lagged behind and he still is but we used to a sunday evening online gaming and that was first first time i knew joe and then a few few years in i became joe i became joe's joe became my team leader worked with joe was good time we did did some good stuff together and then as happens I think one of us left and the other one left. I can't remember what order it happened in, but, you know, we moved on to doing different things. Yeah. And then over the years, there were a few different get-togethers where people would socialise, and I bumped into Joe at a couple of them. And I think a couple of times we were like, oh, we should maybe go out for a, a drink and have a chat, which we did. And I think Joe at some point was looking for a role where I was working, was looking for someone to do training stuff, which, as we know, Joe loves that sort of area. So brought Joe in, we worked together. There was an odd period where we kind of drifted apart together, even in the same company, and then we got a bit, a bit closer again. Joe then left and this is I'm talking this is a 10 15 year period of time where we cross paths now and again and yeah. then through and then we decided to you know off the back of the last time we'd, we'd keep in touch and we met up a couple of times I got into you know listening to podcasts and stuff Joe was looking for outlets for coaching we talked about this on some of the journey episodes I expect and we were like oh let's start a podcast and we set ourselves a goal that within three weeks or whatever the time was we get sank up and running and since then over four years ago now I have spoken to Joe pretty much every week since then I mean I know early on we did our three-week recording cycle but that yeah within the first year we were down to doing this virtually weekly and obviously it's been a huge fixture of my life ever since and I mean, this... we, we had the group chat as well to be fair yeah, that's true. So actually, we, we, we would have messaged quite a lot. In yeah, there. in fact, so we we talk very regularly. In fact, and you know, become a very important fixture within my within my life and the personal level. And through doing this together, has opened up all sorts of doors. So there's people that I've met, experience I've had, things I've done that would never have happened if it wasn't for me meeting Joe. And yeah. we don't know. You know, we're very early on in this. God knows what this is going to lead to. Whether it's the podcast, something else, someone I meet off of that, but. That all goes all the way back to someone I worked with in an office years and years ago was then like we had that proper relationship where he was my my team leader at the time and I worked with him. And then we just, you know, on and off stayed in contact. But if you'd have told me however many years ago, a lot of years ago, close to 20 years ago, what we'd be doing today from where we were then would be unthinkable. And other people who I stayed friends with from then and doors it's open opportunities and stuff so i so suppose being open to doing things putting myself up there maintaining good relationships with people has kind of led to all this stuff that you'd never expected and you go forward 
and you can trace the dots of people on things that have happened and it seems a logical progression but it's such chance encounters that have kind of led yeah. led to where we are now and then my, my story which isn't to do with me but to back this up is there's a, and you know there's there's articles about this stuff this guy but it's the person who's behind the podcast network that i listen to who in the the world we, we touched on my love for the great thing that is professional wrestling he in that world he's a very very well-known person now and I don't know all the ins and outs of it from my perspective is very successful and is integrated within within the industry and he's quite an influential person within the industry um, in fact he put on a show this year last year um, in the States that outside of the big companies and there's two big companies is the largest show that anyone's ever ran independently sure. um, and I was really fascinated as how he got into this world. And I say other people ask his articles on it, but effectively he was a successful businessman in doing something. He enjoyed wrestling. He got involved with a Kickstarter. So we all know what that is in the days before GoFundMe, I'm sure, and chucked in some money. And one of the benefits, if you reach a certain level of putting into this as these things run, was that one of the people involved in it would come and you'd basically, he'd come and watch I don't know if it's this thing or a different thing, but he'd come and spend a bit of time with you. So they yeah. group him and his friends put in some money. Guy came round. They spent all you know evening questioning him, talking about what's going on, picking his brain, having a great time. And it kind of dawned on him that out there, wrestlers do personal appearances all the time at shows and conventions and whatever else. So actually, could he offer one of them their fee but he comes and hangs out with him and his mates for an evening and they chat and they ask questions and they get to know him, which quite a good idea i think um and started off down that oh my battery's gonna die so i need to plug it on so i started doing that with a few people and got to meet people and etc etc through it and um, one of them was a very big wrestler who he became quite friendly with um yeah at some point this very big wrestler has an opportunity to do a podcast but he needed someone to do it with him and this this guy who runs the network conrad's his name by the way conrad thompson google him did radio spots for his company that he had this sort of thing where you the, it's i don't i've not seen much of it here in the uk but it must happen in the, the states where it's not just doing an advert he'd kind of come in and do half an hour on the show and promote his company and whatever else so he was quite comfortable in that sort of environment doing radio spots and interviews and whatever else so he said oh can you help me with my podcast which he did he had moderate success they didn't really go any more with it he then got talking to someone else through one of these you know his relationships he started to build up and they had a conversation he's like that should be a podcast and they're like all right we'll give it a go the guy on the other side of it was someone who'd been huge in the wrestling industry he had loads of stories to tell and was wasn't doing anything at the time and it's like, oh we can do that maybe sell some t-shirts sell a few adverts do whatever they started a podcast and this thing exploded they hit an episode like three or four in that got like um, their view was if we can get ten thousand downloads we're doing all right and we can make some money off of this first few shows yeah. hundreds of thousands of downloads this particular show very early on was at a million really really quickly paraphrasing that i heard him talk about this in a recent show i'm hoping i get the numbers right but it just exploded and became this phenomenon in the rest of the world they then off the back of it started doing live shows they sold shed loads of t-shirts started getting genuine adverts coming in i think they got like even a they signed up to a deal where they got money up front it was it was so successful and then similar way he started a second podcast and a third podcast and suddenly he was up to like six or seven podcasts they dabbled with patreon something we we've looked at ourselves right and obviously without that similar limited lim lim listener base behind it that hold on i'm gonna get my plug in before i die high tech as we go people plugging in as we go um and they started a patreon and this is like a it's and what for a few of the shows and then they came up with what i called a super patreon which i'm a member of i would be proud to say here is my ad free shows hat that i proudly wear being part of the ad free shows family shall we say and they've got this it's and it's ad free shows because you get all the shows early and you get them without adverts but there's loads of other bonus stuff behind it we do yeah and I've sent you screenshots. I've been on umpteen Zoom calls with people I could only even imagine of having met one day. And it's this real, it's, it's grown into this massive, massive, massive thing. Um, and that's what's led to the opportunity of putting on the shows and whatever else and et cetera. And this guy's well embedded in the rest of the world now from being a fan. And the re how this ties in is this all goes back to 
putting into that Kickstarter, maybe we can get a few people to talk to us, and it's just snowballed and snowballed and snowballed, and there's no way when this started, and there's multiple points in this journey, where it's just exploded each time, that it would have gone like it's gone. And I think a big part of how that's happened is his approach to, well, let's put myself out there, let's give it a go, let's say yes, let's work as hard as I can with this opportunity and see what it grows into. And I feel like in a very different way, that's why I do some of the things I do now. And I, I guess the, 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 the moral of the story or the inspiration I'm trying to give is never underestimate the value people can bring to you or you can offer to people from God knows what chance meetings, conversations, whatever else that you can have. Um, and yeah. actually look back where you are now over what some of them are and what can they be in the future or what, what could you do for other people. I know I've talked a lot there, so I'll pause and see what you think about all of that. And I'll stick on my ad free shows hat while we do this. Ad free shows hat. Um... I don't believe in coincidences. And I think this conversation is somewhat similar. Yes. I've never believed in coincidences. I think everything happens for a reason. If you keep seeing the number seven, I don't know, randomly, then there's a reason why you keep seeing the number seven. There's something going on. Um, and I can't remember why my position on coincidences is what it is, but I'm sure it's influenced by something. But just, I always have believed in fate. What will be, will be, and things will happen if they happen. And, you know, going back to... to you and Joe, you know, if certain people hadn't left businesses or hadn't had birthdays where you were invited to catch up and socialise on the number of times that you did, then you wouldn't have finally have agreed to kept in contact and then you wouldn't have developed talking about Joe's coaching and then developed from that into talking about how we can get him an outlet and then talking from that as to, oh, I like podcasts and maybe we should try it and then setting a deadline and just doing it. This is it. And, and then it's, it led to four that years moment. Later, I just, we had the show a few weeks ago where we talked about the fact that Joe was in a cafe talking and someone's like, yeah. oh my God, I know your voice, you're Joe Neuer, aren't you? And all of that is, like you said, is from from all that, that journey you just kind of ran yeah. through there. As, as to having those conversations. So everything happens for a reason. You know, I love that view. Even the most random of things, even if you don't understand the reason, it might not even be your reason that it's happened. If everything's happened for a reason, it might be because of something else or someone else that that thing's happened. But everything does happen um, and will always happen because fate writes it so or you know life writes it so you know there is a lot of opportunities that i've had that i wouldn't have had if i hadn't have met you and had kind of shown an interest in doing things outside the box so i can count myself in that same position i wouldn't have i wouldn't have become the person that i am if i hadn't have met you and you hadn't put me in front of people that would know the right that i would know the right things to say to and would have bestowed in me the confidence that I would say I have now to be able to go out and do anything, especially professionally, especially at work. Well, you're, the, re the reason we're here right now, Ryan, having this conversation and whatever this leads to is because I said I need someone to help me edit a video for work. And you said, oh, I can help with that. And look yeah. at the snowball that's become. You know, that's stuff we've done in work, doing this podcast together, our friendship outside of all of that, all is from that decision of yours of i'm going to put my hand up rather than i'm not going to put my hand up and all of that's born out of a stupid decision to have started making youtube videos about seven years ago absolutely hundreds for you to have that skill in the first place absolutely right um and all of these things happen and i can't remember what motive motivated me to start making youtube videos but something obviously did um and i wasn't very good at it you know it brings transferable skills and it puts me to be able to be in conversations with people that, that can lead to things that i'm interested in and i can influence through things that i'm interested in and that's how anything you know if you boil it down that's how a lot of things work in life but it's important that you do what you believe in and you do what you like not what the popular decision would be or what you think might be the right thing just do what's what what you think is best for you and what what feels best to your personality and it'll be hard to go wrong and that that comes with meeting strangers or taking the decision to get to know somebody at work or if you have a friend of a friend that seems to be around a bit more then there's no harm in getting to know people like that and i think making those decisions and taking those steps and putting yourself out there in any manner of way is only beneficial to I think that's key. In fact, that's, Everything. that's what I'm going to call this one. This is putting yourself out there. That is the message because you don't know what that, that is going to lead to. There's, and I want to touch about something you said there because I'm just I'm plagiarising other people's podcasts today. That's the theme of today. So one of the co-hosts within this network is a phrase he likes to use quite often that ties into what you said. And he says, there's no such thing as coincidences. There's just convergences. Yeah. 
and that's that's what you're saying. You see, you know, things are going in. You might and you might not even see what that outcome is yet, but it all it's all leading in a, a direction for something. I don't know who says this quote, but I'm pretty sure somebody famous or clever has made this quote before that we're all existing on a planet that's floating in the middle of nowhere at the same time at this specific time to do specific jobs to help specific people we're expected to believe that that's just by chance i can never believe in things like that and i'm glad i don't believe in things like that because it keeps my eyes open a lot of time people i'm not saying people that believe in coincidences are naive or or ignorant or anything like that at all i'm not saying that i think i think there are some things that make zero sense as to why they happen and that's because they happen for a reason that's not for you. They happen for a reason for somebody else. We exist for a reason. It isn't just all chance. There is, you know, there is a, there's something that we, that we're all born for. That's that's my view. That's where I sit. I like that, and I think you know you're you're an embodiment of that. Joe is. I am of that. Put yourself out there thing. I I wish I'd have hearkened on to it probably a bit earlier in my life than I did. I, I used to be much more of a in my own little little bubble and there are things I've you know we talked about bits of this over the podcast but I think it's a huge strength to just you know you don't overwhelm yourself and you don't do the literal let's say yes to everything but also yeah. you you never know what things in the moment are going to lead to later down the line in your better judgment as a human being you'll know what the right things to say yes to are um, and I think we've had a conversation about uh, just say we've had definitely a conversation about just say yes we've had conversations on what the best things are to say yes to but your better judgments as a human being will teach you what the things to say yes to are. And That's if you it. get it wrong, then you get it wrong and you go again. I think ultimately, is it something that feels like it's moving you in the direction you want to go in, whatever that is? And whether that's a big yeah. step or a tiny step or, you know, almost like something that can open a door in the future. Yeah. And again, you're ev what, what that means to everyone, where you want to be is individual to every single person and you'll know like you said what that what that feels like and it doesn't matter what that goal is if it's important to you if it's what makes you feel like you're moving in that right place for you then that's that's where you go look at that spitting out some awesome inspiration this week um it's like i've never been away indeed ryan the quality has dipped back down again to that level we were before <laughs> before when you were here um nice. quick shout out everyone again we appreciate everyone out there listening watching this week because joe is the one who manages it we are not on tiktok live but normally every single week we are just follow jay noyer underscore inspiration nation you'll get notified when as well as all of joe's fantastic content during the week and of course youtube just look for joe noyer inspiration nation say joe jose noyer inspiration nation need to stick on the brand name uh, find the youtube channel podcast live versions the more sanitized edited versions about our garble at the start and there are videos that joe is uploading every single day short form and lives as well the lives proving extremely popular um if you do hop over there we'd re really appreciate if you hit subscribe it helps in all that algorithm jazz hit like leave a review podcast players we are on every single one that exists there's too many to list but again hit subscribe, hit notify, leave us a five-star review. We appreciate all of that good stuff. And of course, head over to inspirationnation.org.uk for everything to do with the podcast. Um, these are the coaching services. Sign up to Joe's newsletter. If I can find one somewhere, there's a mug. Here we go. Merchandise, there are t-shirts, there are hoodies, there are hats. I'll put this over the other podcasts that I'm advertising on our podcast to say there are things to sign Gosh. up for as well, which I'm absolutely not just using this to store spare keys and bits of paper in. <laughs> for which it is useful and keeps it near me. But yes, again, we appreciate everyone out there. And of course, Twitter at listen to I N, listen T O I N. I think that is everything I need to shield for right out on the top of my head. You know, about four years ago I used to have to write all of this down so I wouldn't forget. I think I could probably do it in my sleep now without even thinking. Four years ago I used to have to edit out least uh, <laughs> Ryan, can we go back and do this one again? As if, as if it's as if it's a film and we were doing different takes. I had to explain to Lee about six weeks in that it's just, you just do it. You just go. And look at us, we're here now. We're here now. We got rid of the editing. Made Ryan's job yeah. a lot easier. Um, we'd love to know what you think about this. Again, get involved with the show. Join us live each and every week. Subscribe, notify, comment, retweet. All of that great stuff. And we will be back again next week. Me, Ryan, Joe, who knows who's going to turn up, but some of us will be here. And very much, I will say for me, for this week, for my topic, Conrad Thompson and the whole of the Ad-Free Shows Network, thank you for the inspiration. Um, keeps me sane most days. And I will count nice. us down. Three, two, one. 
Inspiration Nation. Inspiration Nation. Catch you guys later. Catch you guys later. Let me know what your biggest takeaway is from this conversation. I'd love to know. Put it in the comments below and I'll respond to every single comment because that's the commitment I make to you in this community. Also, don't forget to subscribe right over here because we need you to build this Inspiration Nation community to get the podcast out there and to help other people for free. And also, don't forget to hit that bell right over here because if you hit that bell, then you're going to know when another video is going live. And don't forget to check out these videos right here next to me because those are other podcast episodes that can really help you out. I really, really appreciate it. And lastly, don't forget out to check the newsletter. The link is in the description below. That's where I can talk directly to you without through the YouTube, throughout the social, because you can have a direct communication channel with me through the email and you can get to know everything that's going on with Inspiration Nation, ask me questions and even give me suggestions on what you'd want us to talk about next. So I'd love to see you in the next video. So please click on those links. Please follow through. Please let's get this community building. I appreciate you. So until next time, I'll see you in the next video, Inspiration Nation, and I'll catch you guys later. Oh, I can record as well. <laughs> we might be on the stream now. We'll start in a second. Backstage, okay. pre-planning for Backstage. everyone who's watching the live, the live live. Right. Oh yeah, I've still got to hit record, and then we'll go. Recording in progress. There we go.